What's going on guys? It's your boy Cubs. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be covering the best mid to high end PC, best OBS settings. And this could work too for Streamlabs OBS, but I currently enjoy OBS and I've got way better quality out of it. I've been using OBS now, OBS Studio for a long time. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the settings. So normally, 10 out of 10 times, I'm always streaming at 1280 by 720 at 60 FPS. Your base canvas is strictly what your monitor resolution is, and that's it. Your output is going to be what you want to stream at. I'm recording this in 1080p, so I put it to 1080p temporarily. But other than that, I'll be having this at uh, 1280 by 720. I always have the downscale filter on Bicubic 16 samples. It's definitely more reliable than any of the other ones. Common FPS, obviously that's where you change your FPS. I always enjoy running at 60, especially when you're running 720p. If you do want to run 1080p, you can try 30 FPS if you're having issues, if you can't run 60 with it. But I still recommend 720 at 60 FPS, especially for Twitch. The next, the most, this is the most important thing right here, the output. So it's different for AMD users because they don't have the NVIDIA NVENC, but this is mainly for going to be for NVIDIA because that's what I'm running. So you're going to click on streaming. You don't want to mess with the audio track. Your encoder, I'm recording right now, so I can't actually show you the differences, but there's strictly a CPU one, and then you got this NVIDIA NVENC H.264, which is new, and this is what I always recommend. Always use your graphics card to stream. You don't want to put any more stress on your CPU than you already have. You don't have to worry about your rescale output. That's going to be what your canvas resolution is, but you don't have to switch that. You don't have to worry about that. It'll record and stream what you have in your output scaled right here. Rate control, you want to always leave this at CBR, which is controlled bitrate. And then the bitrate itself, this is going to vary for everyone. If you have a download speed with your internet provider, which is more than 100 megabytes per second, I recommend trying out 6,000. Me personally, I have 300 megabytes per second through Cox, and I am hardwired. That's also another option. You can try to hardwire to get your internet connection a little more stable, and you might be able to try a little more higher bitrate. But I recommend always trying out 6,000 if you have more than 100 megabytes per second download speed. So I always run at 6,000, and I never have any issues. Try 4,000. They say that really 4,000 to 5,000 is recommended for 720p, 60 FPS in for streaming. So you may even want to try it 4 or 5 and just see how it looks. And if it looks good, you could try to raise it from there. Um, but 6 is the most that Twitch offers right now. I think unless you're an affiliate, then you can do 8,000. But... So keyframe intervals next, we're going to just leave that at zero, which is auto. We don't have to mess with that. Preset, I always do like doing the max quality for everything. Profile, we're going to leave that at high. Don't mess with any of this. It's going to be like this already. Look ahead, it's going to be unchecked. Psycho visual tuning, leave that checked. It should already be checked by default. I haven't messed with that. Leave your GPU at zero and max B frames at two. For recording, this is only if you record videos like like what I do. I want it to be recording in the same quality as I do my streams. So you'll notice when I click on this, it's almost the same thing. So I record an MP4. I still use the NVENC encoder. I still use the CBR 6000 interval 0, max quality high, GPU 0, and max B frames 2. So once again, you can mess with this, but it all depends on your internet connection. If you don't have good internet, I recommend trying like maybe 3000 bitrate to 4000. Because like I said, 4,000 is usually what's recommended for 720p streaming. So you may even be able to get away with 4,000. You may not even see a huge difference between 4 and 6. But if your internet can support it, go higher. So that pretty much covers like all the important stuff. Oh, and to get to this, uh, you have to change output mode to advanced or you won't be able to see all these different settings to change. So you want to change it from simple to advanced. And like I said, since I'm recording, I can't physically see anything. Uh other than my settings that I have now because they're locked in. And then other stuff is pretty basic. So you got audio. You can see right here, desktop audio, you don't have to even mess with that. You can leave it at default. It'll play whatever's playing on your background. Um, your mic and auxiliary, you can see I have my microphone here that's connected. 
Um, that's pretty much it for audio. Uh, general, you don't have to do anything in here. The stream itself, that's where you would connect your stream. You know, your stream key, you know, service, Twitch, the servers, auto. You know, you can change that if you want, but usually if it's recommended, it'll, you know, be it'll already set it up for you. You can disconnect any account here, enable bandwidth test mode. You can do that if you want. It like will give you an example of how strong your speed is, but you really don't have to do that. Twitch add-ons, never really messed with that. We're back to video, audio, output. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, you can set up hotkeys to start recording quicker. I mean, this is all personal preference. I mean, I don't personally ever do this. I just feel like it's a waste, you know. But, I mean, if you're someone that doesn't want to, you know, click on the icon down here to bring it up and you'd rather just click a hotkey, um, I don't know. Because if anything, you would just hit a hotkey to maybe clip something, but not with OBS. You would clip it with, you know, like Shadow Play or even Game Bar, you know, or so on. So... That's honestly it for the video, guys. I mean, I could show you a few things right here. So you can adjust the adjust the uh, you know desktop audio here. Um, you know, if your desktop audio is a little too loud, like you hear too much gunshots and you can't hear your own audio, you know, you can slide this slider to make it stronger, lower. As you could see, my volume, I have it like in the settings a little lower, so I have to have it up higher here. And I always like my audio a little lower for the in-game. Other than that, you really don't have to mess with anything else here. So, and like I said, guys, this is for pretty much any PC. I mean, it doesn't even have to be mid to high end. I mean, you can try any of these settings and just see what's going on. And you can mess with the bit rate. You can mess with the, the, the output scaled resolution. There's so much you can do that can even help out the low end PCs. It's not too hard, but all right, guys. Well, that's it for the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And let me know what videos you'd maybe like to see next. Um, but until next time, guys, like I said, subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.